hello there everybody, welcome back to more Revita. You guys are loving it, I'm loving it. It's it's just basically all positives. Um, we did not have enough money to do anything. <laughs> so I suppose we're actually just gonna, we're just gonna go in, right? However, a lot of you offered a very, very uh, meaningful suggestion to me, which I have to now find and do. You told me that I can pet the cat. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. That is, that is an actually monumental um, piece of, of information. You also told me that I made this whole thing a hell of a lot harder because you can, if you time it just right, yeah, okay, um, you can do a, a basically super jump by um, tapping your gun. Like immediately so that's interesting um I don't know I don't necessarily know where we can use that uh, besides right there but you can get some pretty decent height with this uh, and it's little things like that that I'm, I'm telling you we could end up finding some secrets in the game that we did not realize you guys have finally gotten your hand on the game um, and I have I I've started to read a bunch of comments of, of not spoilers per se uh, but just some some things to to learn about in the game. Um, there are apparently super secret rooms <laughs> that I did not know about. Um, that's news to me. These super secret rooms apparently don't give you uh, indication that you're you're breaking into them. So you have to kind of sit for. You actually you got to be kidding me. It's insane. So that immediately. Um, cool <laughs> oh it, it's like the timing was uh better than it ever could be um we'll keep that in mind right and, and we'll just basically crank on every single wall uh that we we see because that that it was i mean that that's a free damage up dude like that that's a pretty monumental um thing so I'll, I'll just I'll just get used to basically cranking. I still think there's probably only one secret room, one super secret per floor. Uh, so I, I kind of am gonna, you know, we already found the super secret, so I'm not gonna be too too concerned here. But it's something to keep in mind. That that is for absolute damn certain. Thank you for the extra HP. I am going to grab that, but then we we got some places to go, people to see. Um, some other things that you guys told me was apparently I might be in the game. <laughs> um, apparently there are some references to, to Wholesome Verse members in the game. Um, I have obviously not seen this yet. Also, 100%, we're gonna crank... I mean, I've never cranked foreign, so you know what? Let, let's do it. That seems terrifying. Uh, and we got Snapshot Camera. Dashing at the last second before getting hit increases damage for a bit. I'm gonna tell you, I I actually think that's horrible. Um, it is a new item, yes. <laughs> it's a new item. Is it a good new item? That that remains to be seen, I suppose. But I am interested nonetheless. So if I if I do like a dash, I mean, did that increase my damage? It's it's actually like very difficult to tell. But that's okay. That's okay. We're, we're still going to look for areas that we can maybe find some, some more secrets in. Um, it's clear that I have not seen everything that's in the game yet. So those of you that were, were starting to get concerned that as we're making our way uh, through the game that we, we might have we might have seen most of the content already. I got news for you. I, we might not have. <laughs> there might still be a lot more uh, that we have not seen. Especially we know that there's the, the special rooms that we haven't seen yet, uh, that we keep on unlocking. So, tons of, uh, tons of interesting stuff for us still to, uh, find out. That was almost, like, a, a terrible play by me. I'm trying to keep our multiplier as high as possible. In, in the early game, I'm finding that it's, it's kind of vital that we keep our HP, uh, high via our souls being, uh, taken care of to the to the best of our ability and that way we can we can get early upgrades that kind of help carry us for the rest of the run so 
Iron Boots makes you immune to knockback. I'm gonna tell you, I would I would so much rather just have this. And then we're gonna do a fun thing called Super Jump. And uh, just doesn't look like there's anything in the shop. A lot of you have always been talking about this up above this. Um, and thinking that it could be something. Because <laughs> it, it, it clearly... It looks, it looks a little like a, a puzzle of some kind. Um, so it, just a lot of things to keep in mind. It could be absolutely nothing, right? Um, but Ben, the dev, has kind of been, um, I think I'll call it aloof about secrets in the game. Um, and maybe there's, there's a little bit more than what meets the eye in some of these areas. So what the heck is this? Is this a challenge room? Are you brave enough to embrace Mother's Challenge? Uh, I mean, like, absolutely. So defeat all the enemies. That will not be a problem for me, uh, as I am insanely good at the game. That was a little frightening, though. So we are, it's, it's muchos enemies, but here's the benefit, right? Tons of enemies, but we're cranking our, our soul multiplier up through the roof. Hermes boots increase walking speed after a short period after dashing. Okay. Yo, that's, that's kind of great though. So basically we, we just, we, we do be a dashing boy from here on out. So we've already seen another new room. Um, very, very pleased to see that. I'm going to be honest because I, I do think that in a game like this, and I, I think that it, it stays true for a game like Isaac as well, right? Um, the more variety you have, the more you're going to, uh, have replayability, right? And I think Ravita is is hitting that that nice mark already in terms of uh, replayability and variety in the game. So what is this compass? Shows you what relic to expect in big chests. Fair enough. I don't. We we've had this before. I don't know <laughs> like any of the relics yet. Um. So this is still a little bit of a. I don't want to say a useless item for me unless it tells us like literally what the item does. Uh, in which case, A+, plus, right? But if it just gives me the name of it, I'm going to tell you I, I don't know the names of the items yet. That's a horrible hit by me, dude. I mean, I'm actually, like, kind of ashamed that we got hit there. Because, I mean, it's just it's just bad. Here, come all the way over here, please. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. So, you guys have also mentioned that um, the bosses are named after the five stages of grief. Which is very interesting, um, assuming that we will likely have five floors in the game. With the final floor being, obviously, uh, the final stage of, of grief. It's a very, uh, very unique way to handle the boss fight. Some of you have expressed that, you know, the variety of having the same boss fight every time might get a little old. I can understand that, too. Um, and I don't... I don't know if there's necessarily a... A good solution for that because I get that that having a lot of bosses can be difficult in a game like this but maybe there's there's different attack patterns kind of that you could end up implementing keep in mind I mean the game is still early access a lot of you are, are treating the game like it's like it's fully completed um it's actually not there, there's still presumably a chunk of updates um to to go in this bad boy so once again no secrets up here I, i'm trying to get my my super jump <laughs> to actually like do do something for us but so far i have not found a good use for the super jump but who knows maybe we'll find uh something that we can make work i'm excited to get some upgrades on our stuff here that said i don't really think that our, our subset of items that we have are that good i mean i think they're fine you guys also told me that a new one of the the shadow people gets added to this uh, metro every time i die which m basically makes me want to die like 400 times really quickly and see what the hell happens here but i'll leave that for for another time uh so what do we got here we we could we could increase snapshot camera that just seems so bad though <laughs> it seems so bad um, even this, I'm gonna be honest with you, it it doesn't seem that good. So I'm I'm gonna actually opt for a little bit of a different strategy than what we would normally do. Um, and I'm going to 
kind of save a lot of my health. Uh, and maybe we, we get some good items on this floor. Hopefully we survive this floor. I mean, that that's kind of a big if. We, this is normally the floor that we tend to have a little bit more trouble on, that said. Uh, you can appreciate getting the damage upgrades early here. Looking, looking for super secret rooms. We, we would see it by then. And if the super secret room has a, a simple damage upgrade in it, then I'm going to tell you, uh, A+. Plus. A+. Plus. That's, that's a good enough upgrade for me. I, I do want to, I want to talk about some game design type stuff with Revita. Um, because I, I, I think that it's, I, I think that it's one of the more interesting games that I've played in recent time. Uh, just because I, I still think that Handling a, a bullet hell game in a 2D space is an insanely ambitious uh, thing to do. And to, to make a game that is, is not, I don't want to call it is, is being touted as like a spiritual Isaac successor because I, I don't think that Revita is that. Okay, you gotta, you gotta turn off your poison, my dude. Because that, that's gonna get pretty old pretty quick. My man, we lost a lot of our... Uh, soul advantage that we had here but the, the one thing that i want to talk about in terms of game design in this game that that is kind of like a staple in roguelike games is this idea of secret rooms and i, I think that i i don't know i'm also i'm not paying attention to my healing which is really bad um is there i mean th there's like no way that this is going to give us no okay so well, i mean we'll offer one heart that's fine and what the frick is this tasty turnip it's a legendary Healing recovers more health? Okay, well that's like actually absurdly strong. So, cool. I got a legendary for offering one heart. <laughs> I offered four on the last one and I got a crappy common. I offer one, I get a legendary. Um, works for me, I suppose. I'd love to know what the percentages uh, of getting something like that to occur is. Oh god, I almost, I almost just bit the dust to that guy. And I swear there's, like, enemies being created out of thin air here as well. Um, but I want to talk about the secret room mechanic because I'm, I'm now... I don't know how much I like it, right? I don't know how much I like it because it basically just becomes... There, there's no skill to finding secret rooms. Instead, it's literally a... It's just a chore to find them. Um, it's the idea... Oh my god, okay. Very scary. Very scary. You are basically one hit, just so you know. Um, but also keep in mind that we are healing, and we, we heal an additional one per, dude. That's actually, like, that's crazy good. <laughs> that is so crazy good. Um, what a strong item. We, we, we could really make this one pop um, with, with this legendary turnip item. But um, I don't know. I don't know what I would implement really to to make secret rooms more of a, a skill-based thing. Um, you know, how do you? Is that actually like a second heart, man? Regain a heart. I, actually, just a regain is totally fine for me here. There's our secret room, and you're, soon enough, honestly, uh, we've been looking for a while. Regain another heart, and, and the HP is starting to be um, so good that we just don't have a chance to lose. I say that, and every time I say that, I end up dying in like the next room, so let, let's not get another um, best of Alexa 2021 clip here. Ah, uh, that's such a bad hit, dude. That's such a bad hit. Why you gotta be so terrible, Tyler? Okay, nothing there. I do like this Hermes boots item. Um, the the little speed boost is is kind of nice after the dash, I will say. But I mean, I look at games. Like going back to the idea of the, the secret rooms, I look at games like um, Enter the Gungeon, Binding of Isaac, right? Um, where Bio Cell, interesting. Where the idea of a secret room you lock behind using a resource right using a bomb using a blank um and i wonder if i i just it feels like the secret rooms are too free now the benefit that they give you is not crazy so i i suppose it's not necessarily the end of the world um that they're a little little easy to to find but i just wonder if there is a, another 
way to do it. And I'm sure that Ben has uh, explored other things like that. So damage up, thank you. It feels like our, we have to have a super secret room like soon, man. We also are just, we're straight up out of keys and this was a special room too. So I am a, a little, little irritated, I will say. As we make it to the boss, maybe I missed the super secret room, which now makes me look like a, an absolute dumbass. <laughs> Since I'm over here saying, oh, they're too easy to find, and then I missed it. Um, but that's okay. So, Anger, let's do this. We have fought this guy several times now, uh, and I, I'm, I'm feeling confident about my ability to kill him. Honestly, without even getting hit, I, I think that I will do just fine. Okay, he's doing he's doing that thing. Not a problem for me. He's doing a couple of explosions in the air. This is still not a problem for me. He's over here. Hello, sir. Our HP is, is so good. It's insane. We can pop a quick heal. That brings us to full health on the second floor. I don't think we've been full health on the second floor ever. <laughs> So feeling, feeling nice, feeling spiced, feeling like uh, a pile of melted ice. That was a terrible hit. Also, a pile of melted ice would probably be feeling uh, not that great. It'd feel like water, right? Not necessarily good. Okay, so two shields to just regain the health that I just lost. Happy to see it. Um, possible super secret room, end of the floor. No. Okay, so we, we probably just missed it. I look like a dumbass, but I'm going to tell you, this run is looking um, is looking like something real special. I, I, I think that this could be our first win. Uh, and it's it's primarily held at the back by, uh, by our good friend, Mr. Legendary Turnip. <laughs> a friend that I never thought we'd have. Um, but here we go. So... I cannot upgrade this, and, and I'm gonna tell you, I I really just don't see a reason to upgrade these. I mean, why why hurt a, a brilliant amount of health on this run when instead we could just we, we could just keep with what we got going? I'm still looking, I'm still looking around to see if there's uh, anything in these areas. You know, we we know at least I think that this third floor is the last uh, floor in the game right now. So the, the third boss, who we, we definitely struggled against last time, we, we really want to try to get going positively this time. Oh my god, okay. And our damage, I'm not going to say is bad, but we definitely, there we go. We definitely would like to... Uh, <laughs> We'd like to see it improve just a tiny bit. You know, and a damage up right there is going to help us uh, more than you can imagine. So we, we raised some interesting questions. For one, I mean, we can start healing and making new hearts, which we absolutely should be doing. Uh, and with Legendary Turnip, we're, we're actually just going to get... Um, we're going to get more health at an even alarming or, or alarming -er rate. Like, that's, that's the absolutely insane part. Uh, about this turnip item is the idea of it's not only healing it's it's the creation of new hp which is even i mean it's even better <laughs> it's better than healing what well, was better than uh returning a heart to your inventory is just making a brand new one that you can then utilize and do stuff with in the future so very very good um terrible hit by me there we we oh my god dude the ice physics are starting to they're messing with my movement is very bad very very bad but we will be okay continue on oh and that's that's really interesting so when we lost health it didn't take away um our already built up um half heart that we have so i'm gonna offer I'm going to actually offer only one heart here. Uh, and we did get a common bullet spawn from your aim reticle instead of your soul gun. What? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> are, you, are you seeing this? Dude, this is interesting. This is very interesting. I think this is actually horrible. 
Um, this gives us essentially infinite range, which means that I should be staying back in all these rooms. I mean, we're, we're basically like, we are, we are extremely, uh, like aim pro now, <laughs> but it also means that we're going to be far away from all of our, uh, I mean, we're going to be far away from all of the souls that spawn, which then makes things really interesting in terms of making sure that we are um, collecting our stuff to, to heal and focus. This is this is an interesting item. Um, I think that it's insanely strong, but I also think that it's it's insanely dangerous all at the same time. Um, it, it changes the way that I would normally play in the game, despite it being um, like actually very, very good, I think. We still have a secret room, so let, we'll, we'll continue to crank walls. We're, we're getting into the home stretch here, which is a pretty big positive. Um, we will very likely go to the shop here, because I, I think that we stand to pretty much solely benefit from the shop in this scenario. That I don't know what my, my line of thinking was right there. It's, it's messing me up, dude. Okay, so no... Nothing there. If we go to the shop here, that means we, we likely won't be able to go to our item room here shortly, but I mean, I guess I guess I commit, right? I guess I commit. What do you got? Poison enemies on, on contact or, I mean, it's, it's half a heart for two hearts. <laughs> I think mean, like, that's, that's a stupidly uh, good, good idea. And then I, I think that I actually probably just chill um, on the whole buying the other one I, i'm still looking at our health and I, I i remember what this third boss was like uh and he is not a walk in the park so let's let, let's maybe be a, a little cautious about what we're doing with him we're using you were using that new our new abilities man i i love the idea of the super jump it, it's such a uh fascinating mechanic that I, I would have never thought of <laughs> okay so no no key to get in there we will heal real quick gets us our, our full heart back I mean we just have so much health uh, and the more that we focus the more we're gonna get good stuff Wh which I mean this raises an interesting question right which is how worth it is upgrading at um the the, the bus guy the metro man I don't know right because we didn't upgrade at all and instead we have a, a crap load of health that we have at our uh oh what the heck is going on in here dude pardon me <laughs> okay um just got just got a secret room that is completely empty but i can see my reflection I have to imagine that that is something because I, I can't see my reflection anywhere else. So like clearly this has value. Oh, frick, dude. You already have secrets that I don't know what to do with. Oh, man. Um, maybe you, you super jump in the middle. No, you know what? Do you, do you see the writing along the? OK, I mean, it's like extremely difficult to read. Also, there's three of me. Maybe... You, you, you can see that there's like a line going here, although I suppose there's two lines going here. I have no idea <laughs> what to do here. Um, maybe... Maybe there's another secret room in the ceiling? Maybe... Maybe if I just launch myself through the roof? Maybe there's a secret room that continue. I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. And at this point, it's not like I can really even ask questions, right? Um, I just have to... I just have to go for it. Um, so, weird. Definitely weird. We have no idea what that's all about. Um, could be something we unlock in the future. I don't know. Could be a bug, for all I know. Um, I have absolutely no idea. Weird, though. Very weird. Um, there's still an enemy here? Oh, is that... 
Where where is the enemy though? I'm losing my soul counter. What is going on? There's an enemy. The enemy's off the screen. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe we're just encountering a, a bug or two or three, and now I appear to be in a, a a strange soft lock, which is kind of unfortunate, I would say. Um, since I've now lost my entire soul counter, and now the enemy has come back. Oh, that's kind of infuriating. It's kind of infuriating. That's okay. You know what? I, I think we'll still be fine. I mean, it's not like I really can heal that much more anyway now. We, we weren't going to get another heal in, so... Let, let's get this final boss defeated. I, I feel oddly confident, right? Especially because, I mean, we're basically able to just keep our cursor on this guy. And as long as we do that and then just keep track of our dodging a little bit here and there. I mean, we never have to be near him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the wiggly, wiggly bullets were a little, little terrifying, though. Okay, we'd love, love to see it. Hi. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Not, not a problem. You know what? I should have seen that coming. Entirely my bad. My dude has been... Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Get 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 out of here. Get out of here. Just run back and forth. We're fine, dude. We're fine. Okay? We're we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Big jumps. He he's toast, dude. He he's He he's toast. He's toast. We've we've done it. <laughs> oh baby. Scary though. Extremely scary. Uh, a run that was basically, although we just got damage up, so now I'm now I'm actually like completely terrified because I thought this was the end of the game. Um, what is this? Infuse yourself with shards to increase the difficulty at the station. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, that's fair. So I'm I'm gonna assume that we we have won our first run, which is very exciting. But I also probably just won on the easiest um, difficulty possible. So we have indeed reached the end of the line. Um, we have we have done it. It's very exciting. Uh, here's here's our, our first win. We just got a big 20 banger, dude. Extreme 20 banger. You love to see it. And now we get to do uh, what is one of my, my favorite parts, which is to uh, to crank as much, uh, oh, I think this is a new thing indicating that there's people to talk to, which is, is very nice. Uh, I thought I was about to open a chat with, um, Ben and have a good time. Okay, so this is freaking 18, dude. Oh my lord. I feel like we should unlock some new items, um, instead of doing more unlocks up here. But I also, like, I feel obligated to chat with these people. Hello, are those new blueprints? Of course they are. We have the gotcha pan. Spent soul coins to unlock various hats. Oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> How could I not want some beautiful hats? Okay, I do think that soul torches would be a good idea uh, in, in the third level. We also have the hot spring room. Relax and recover all your HP. Shop expansion. Inventory of the shop increases. Oh, dude, that's actually a great idea. That's a great idea. Um, we also have tons of new hanging stuff. Shrubs. And we also have, what the hell is this? Big posters? Some big marketing posters. What could they be advertising for? And a washing line. I mean, I'm I'm kind of really intrigued by big posters, I will say. Um, Memoria Station stands between worlds. I know it's a lot to wrap your head around. It's just that Memoria Station? Well, it's surprisingly hard to explain. You really have to see it for yourself. That was, that was, like, the most cryptic conversation ever. Look, another flower, aren't they lovely? And for you, a gift. Thank you for another item for me. Wing the strawberry. I mean, that, like, has to be a Celeste reference, right? There's no way in the world that that's not a Celeste reference. And this thing's blinking. There's no way that's Morse code, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm automatically, I, I'm, I'm just thinking everywhere about possible uh possible secrets and things 
and I'm I'm starting to lose my freaking mind. I think looking for him. I'm still that that secret room has me uh, kind of shook. I, I it might have been a bug though. It really might have been a bug. But it's impossible to tell too. It's impossible to tell. Okay, go back down. I think we should probably spend. I just want to check this side and see if there's anything uh, going. No. Okay. I want to spend on some items this time because I, I feel like we've been neglecting. I've been I've been dumping everything into uh, other stuff. So let's buy like an expensive item, like uh, hot chocolate, right? Let's buy hot chocolate here. So hot chocolate confirm. It has been unlocked and appears in the tower. We also now obviously have it on us. Uh, and what does what does hot chocolate do? Let, let's let's double check. Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to see until we go into the next run. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. And then since I, I still have eighteen, let let's buy let's buy some. Uh, no, you know what? Soul tor so soul torch in the the third area feels like. I mean, that's just a a fine upgrade to do. And we haven't seen the observatory. We haven't seen the giant's room. We did see the challenge room, which is exciting. Um, I, I I would love to get some hats. I really would. <laughs> I would love to get some hats. And I don't even have enough for the withered benches. I do want to do all these eventually, man. We just, we just, we just got to keep on playing, right? We just got to keep on playing and continue to collect... Uh, more and more souls and, and see where life takes us but hey thank you so much for watching as always a like on the video does mean a lot to me i'll catch you guys in the next episode you have a good rest of your day Bye bye